Hi, my name's Ellen. I'm a second year history with archaeology student here at Bangor University. Um, welcome to a new series on this channel uh, where I will be giving short presentations on archaeology throughout the month of June. Um, this week's presentation will concentrate on the theme, what is archaeology, as to introduce the academic discipline. To give its scientific definition, archaeology is the study of material remains and the environmental effects of human behaviour. But what exactly does that mean? So archaeology is essentially the scientific study of the past through material evidence, so physical objects. Like anthropology, archaeology is the study of humans, their behaviour and their societies. Archaeology is the product of human curiosity about the past, which is based on the interpretation of physical evidence. There is a wide range of evidence that archaeologists use to create archaeological research. These can be considered human, animal or plant remains, artefacts and monuments. So, first of all, why is archaeology important? Archaeology provides us with the opportunity to learn about past cultures through the study of human, animal or plant remains, artefacts and monuments. Studying archaeological evidence gives us some insight into what life would have been like for the people who left behind no written record, such as the prehistoric period where we see evidence of civilizations. Archaeology is important for historical research. It can also provide community and economic value to the area of its location. It also has the potential to provide new information on the human past and solidify one's ties to their social or national heritage and provide economic means to locations all across the world. The study of archaeology also allows us to preserve and document our past for future generations. Just a brief outline of the origins and development of archaeology. Before archaeology was truly developed, all remains were considered monuments of the past that needed preserving. Professional archaeologists became private collectors as a symbol of wealth and power. This group of hobbyist archaeologists are known as antiquarians. Archaeology developed as an academic discipline in the mid-19th century, and archaeology was built upon by a variety of archaeologists and was drawn from multiple academic disciplines' methodologies. Two of the most influential figures for the development of archaeology was Johann George Ramsua, uh, who was an Austrian miner with no antiquarian background, and he stumbled across an Iron Age cemetery of Holstadt, uh, where he was the director of the salt mine. He excavated 990 burials between 1846 and 1863, and he was the first to use precise written and drawn documentation of large-scale excavations using his background in mining to aid the archaeological methodology. Augustus Henry Fox Lane Pitt Rivers is the other influential figure for the development of archaeology, and he is internationally more important. He applied his background in military mapping and logistics to archaeology, and he was the first to introduce the geological principles of stratigraphy to archaeology, uh, where he recognised that deposits at the top were more recent than the bottom. And he highlighted the importance of the context to the finds rather than just the discovery itself. And he transformed romantic antiquarianism into modern archaeology. Archaeology is a way of understanding the past, looking for the truth, reality and understanding within the aim of reconstructing the past with a variety of focuses and objectives. The objectives of archaeology is to understand the past, the activities and societies that existed at and, and took place at any one time, understand the chronological phases of sites using historical research and the archaeological evidence found within during surveys and excavation, the focuses of archaeology being objects, so buildings and human and animal remains, environments, landscape, soil, plant and insect remains, and interpretation, so nature of human and animal practice, what, what, what did they get up to, noticing the patterns. These focuses allow, for, allow archaeologists to build interpretations on the past for reconstruction, to increase our understanding of our heritage. The assessment of how objects were used and made help us build an understanding of the activities and societies of the past. 
The assessment of how landscape was used and its value allows for the understanding and interpretation of the area. For example, the examination of functions of the function of rooms, barns and stables and encampments, for example, and how natural environments such as hills and cliffs were used for defence. Why did they settle where they did? Was it a resourceful area in consideration of water, food and wood? The assessment of everyday activities and patterns allow archaeologists to formulate interpretations on the everyday lives of past peoples. The focuses and objectives of archaeology support the purpose to preserve and document what, the, what is found so that the information can be passed on to future generations to increase understanding and knowledge on the subject. The focuses and objectives therefore show what archaeologists are interested in in the understanding of the past and its societies. For example, how an object was made, such as buildings, pottery, and what technology did they use? How it was used, storage of food and drink, hunting or fishing. How it ended up being deposited where it was found or excavated. How people lived in the societies they built, their livelihood and their diets? Was there a process as to why it was deposited where it was? A sacrificial offering, defensive properties, place of worship and healing, or good access to food and water? These interests allow archaeologists to conduct their research and build an understanding of the past. This is the end of this presentation and I hope it has given a good introduction into what archaeology is. Uh, join me next week for a small presentation on how archaeologists research and how evidence is studied. I'll see you then.